So Dan and Todd here with engineering.com at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. We are sitting with the one, the only Mythbusters, Adam and Jamie. Part of the Mythbusters, I should say. Other teams aren't <laughs> here. That's not fair. Um, and we're very excited to have them here. And I had a question. Um, are you hiring anyone with my particular skill set? <laughs> so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, your career path to get where you are. And Jamie, you know, you've, you've done a lot of different things. You, like you said, you, you had a, a, a degree in linguistics of Russian languages. Uh, you've also worked as a uh, wilderness survival expert, animal wrangler, boat captain and diver, uh, machinist and cook. What made you decide that you wanted to climb the corporate ladder? Well, I don't know that I have uh, decided to climb the corporate ladder or had any ambition, but uh, uh, what's ended up putting us here uh, is, I think, in both of our cases, uh, uh, this broad foundation that I've, I've this is something that I, I think is, is maybe missing a little bit in school while, uh, or in universities uh, that, that uh, give specific degrees, although like a liberal arts education will try to give you a foundation, a broad foundation, um, and, and then you know, lead you towards your specialty. Um, but I think uh, it's underestimated the, the power of this, this building this kind of broad foundation because it, it specifically will allow you to deal with situations with which you have no direct experience. Um, and, and, and the fact is, when you go through a college education, uh, you, you know, you're, you've not been told everything that you need to know to deal with what you're going to be facing. There's no, no degree program that can give you the, that kind of knowledge. It's always going to be something different. The best that they can do is, is prepare, prepare you with the tools that you need to be able to take on things that you haven't experienced before. And that's, this, that's where this broad foundation comes into play and is why that we're able to do what we do on the show is because uh, uh, we have such a, a wide background. And so even if we don't have any direct experience with something, we, we have enough related experience and, how, and are able to see the forest for the, the trees and everything like that, that we can, we can often get there fairly quickly. And Adam, your background is also uh, uh, wide and diver uh, diverse because y your background is art and sculpture and, uh, and, and special effects, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and what, how does that relate to, to this show, which is promoting science and the scientific method? Well, <clears throat> again, it's the, it's the jack of all trades method. Um, the, People don't really realize that jack of all trades comes from a verse, jack of all trades, master of none. They actually don't know that the verse has a second stanza, which is jack of all trades, master of none, though often better than a master of one. And that really speaks to the liberal arts foundation, the broad base of knowledge. And you know, there was a point at which I'm a serial skill collector, as well as having been an artist and a sculptor. I, I, I love learning new skills, so I got really good at playing pool. Uh, I got good at the saxophone. I got good at juggling and unicycling and other things that I wanted to teach myself. And in each of these things, I would stop when I got pretty much as good as about 75% of the people who do it. Like in the top 25 percentile, I'd figure, good enough, let's move on. Uh, and there was also, uh, I spent a lot of time beating myself up for not getting better at these things. Like, why not like, pursue real excellence? I would just lose my interest. And then when I found film special effects, and even more importantly, myth busting, I realized that each of these skills that I knew about and I had a foundation in became like an arrow in my quiver that I could apply to a problem. And the more things that you're interested in, the more things that you know about, the more ways you have to solve a problem. Most people only know their own discipline, and thus they think that the only way they know how to do something is the only way to do something. We are not hamstrung by that type of myopia. We, we are able to say, well, what if we did this? What if we did that? What if we did these nine other things? And then when the right idea shows up in the room, it's really clear that it's the only elegant, simple, wonderful way to do it. Um, and that, that that moment of clarity about the right solution has an aesthetic quality that is, I think, deeply connected to, to the artistic experience as well. It's that point at which you realize that 
something has attained this beauty that you aren't smart enough to have put into it. Uh, half the time we come up with really elegant solutions. Uh, we couldn't tell you which one of us actually came to it. We just know that we were arguing for about 45 minutes and then something came out of it. Adam and Jamie, thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, thank you very much. We've been speaking with Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman, Jamie Heineman of the Mythbusters. You can check out more of the videos of them on engineering.com as well as the other engineering and science celebrities here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival.